Hi guys, uh, this is Thunder E from Border Work, and today I'm going to show you how to create a USB boot up uh, drive for Windows 8. First thing, of course, you need is a USB flash drive, and I suggest uh, 8 gigabytes and up. So I have a, a 64 gigabyte flash drive here, but you need 8 gigabytes and up. You also need some software from uh, Microsoft, and you need an ISO file for Windows 8. Other uh, software, uh, which we'll show you in a second. Uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead and we'll plug it to our computer and we'll do the uh, connection. So we have our flash drive of choice. Remember, eight gigabytes and up is what you need for a USB flash drive to install Windows. And now the next step for you to do is, of course, purchase Windows 8 uh, or get the ISO from Microsoft. And then what you actually need besides that, the second piece of software is the Windows 7 USB slash DVD download tool. I'll have the link for you with this video. Uh, but this is the page here. It's from the Microsoft Store. You can go to the Microsoft Store and download uh, the uh, software here that's it right there install it once you install it this is what shows up so it says first one choose iso file so browse so i'm going to browse and choose my iso file there we go all right so i've selected my iso file and i hit next now it says please choose media type for Windows 7 backup. Again, you can do this for Windows 7 or Windows 8, so it really doesn't matter, it's the same thing. I can either use DVD or USB. Now, if I was using DVD, I would use at least two DVDs or, or more, depending on the size uh, of, of the file, but I go USB device. So it says there is a removable device that's uh, in there. It actually shows a bunch of removable devices, F, and I have one that is 55 gigabytes. That's actually the device I want. Let me refresh this again, just to make sure. I do have many devices that are connected at this point. So that is the device I want. So it's 55 gigabytes, begin copying. Select a USB drive, J drive must be erased. So if there's anything on there, it, it will format the hard drive before it will copy it. So erase USB hard drive. You have selected to erase all content. Are you sure you want to do this? You hit yes. And it's going to format the drive for you. So once that is formatted, now it's copying the files. So you get a general idea and you see it's going to go through that whole process of uh, copying and making sure that everything is on there. But it's a, what's really cool about this is that now you don't need a DVD drive. If you're building a system, you don't have to have a DVD drive on your system. And you can actually just have a USB stick with Windows on there. And you can actually boot directly from the, from the USB stick. And we'll show you that in a second. We'll show you the files once they are done. So it's creating the USB disk. Take some time. But we'll go through this because we want to actually show you it's fully created and then um, the disk is available. So we're not going to cut through anything, so we're just going to go through this.
completed as we've seen here and we can easily go and check out uh, our installation so we click on that my computer removable disk and here we have it this is a boot disk created for windows and you can see the boot files here support files so there it is very simple process it's not that hard and you can create your own windows 8 boot disk so there you go if you have any questions guys let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on twitter facebook and youtube so border work with 2.0 so this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment